What's going on fam, welcome back to the channel. In this box is potentially the best colorway that I've seen from Nike in a really long time. And they are in my favorite boots from Nike at the minute, the Phantom GX2 in AG. Let's hop into it. So unboxing the Nike Phantom GX2 AG. This is huge thanks to Tokyo Football. So you can find Tokyo Football on Instagram at tokyofootball.sg. They are a wonderful online shop out of Singapore uh, that do awesome stuff. I get a lot of my ASIC stuff there, the Athleta Array stuff there as well uh, as a lot of Mizuno and some other boots, but they do carry a lot of the AG models from some of the big brands as well. So really, really cool. Basic Nike box for these, which is pretty expected. Um, you have the Phantom GX2 Elite AG Pro, which is my favorite outsole from Nike at the minute, other than maybe the new Vapor sole plate, haven't really decided, but I love the AG Pro sole plate because it is fantastic on both AG and FG surfaces. This is a US 9 per usual, 10.5 in women's, a UK 8, and a 27 centimeters or Japan 27, and then a Euro 42.5. Now, if you didn't know already, which you probably do because you clicked on this video, which means you've seen the thumbnail, so you've seen this color. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Also, really cool that they added the massive Nike swoosh. I like that design way better than some of their other bags. I think the big Nike swooshes just look awesome. Now, if you guys didn't know, if you've been on my website before, you know that this is pretty much a carbon copy of my favorite color of all time, which is why my brand is like this kind of turquoisey blue color. This is amazing. I am so pumped about this football boot because I love the Phantom GX. It's one of my favorite boots. It's a 9 out of 10 football boot for me or 10 out of 10. It's basically perfect because it fits me straight out of the box. The AG sole plate is awesome and I've loved it. And anyway, yeah, lots of hype. So the... Uh, Nike swoosh, really, really cool. Now, let's get these unboxed because I just want to see what these look like. Oh, nice. Oh, my days. Holy, that color is absolutely stunning. And I really like what they've done with this sort of metallic, it's like a metallic y, slightly darker material that like changes depending on where the light hits it. That is so cool. It looks almost the same color in certain lights, and then you turn it a little bit, and then it looks way darker. That is nuts. That is so cool. You know what? This might actually be like a um, oh, what are the what's that material called where you it's like a piece of paper, and then you depending on the way that you turn it, you get different shades of a certain color or a picture or something. Anyway. There's your AG sole plate as well, which I've had on multiple boots now. And uh, let's get this one out of the box. Nothing else in the box, so we'll get this down. Here you go. And here we are, Phantom GX2 in AG. Now, if you guys can see up in that corner right there, I have my custom pair of Phantom GX1s that were in AG, as well as somewhere around here. Here we go. My pair of Phantom Luna. IDs, which I opted for the AG sole plate as well. Super cool. So the AG sole plate, I've worn this sole plate for a really long time. It's been about a year and a half, basically since the beginning of GX1. And the reason why I love it so much is because it's just no nonsense. Like there's nothing that I would do differently about the sole plate. It's well balanced. Yeah, it could use maybe a little bit more structure, but that's being pretty nitpicky. Feels super grounded here in the forefoot, which is, of course, where most footballers are going to be stepping. You're going to be on your toes most of the time. Good amount of traction. And I actually managed, I actually wore the black and pink pair, um, not only in the championship final, which was awesome, but I wore that pair of football boots for basically all of the season. So I was wearing it for the AG pitches and I was wearing it for the FG pitches, the league, NISA that we were in, the professional league in America. That is, I would say, 70% AG, 30% FG, if that makes sense. So, And I wore them on both the FG and the AG. They performed totally, totally fine. The reason why I sort of dove into that straight away is because that's really the only difference between these and the FG model. But this sole plate is great. I would highly, highly recommend it. Now, from a tech features perspective, 
the GX2 is, in my opinion, an improvement on the GX1, which was a fantastic football boot. I think it will go down as one of the best football boots of all time from Nike, just because that is, uh, it was a massively popular silo. It introduced grip knit, which is, in my opinion, one of, if not the best technologies from Nike in the last many, many, many years because of the fact that this actually does what it's supposed to. It's not a gimmick. The, this grip knit is actually grippy and actually makes a substantial difference in the way that you are able to manipulate spin and contact the ball, so, which is really, really cool. So this now is a one-piece Nike, uh, Nike grip knit upper, which is a sort of three-part series uh, or three-part material between fly knit, which you get here through the lacing system area, which we've seen on many different uh, phantoms in the past as well. So you get the fly knit, then you get the high tenacity yarns, and then you get the pre-coated yarns, giving it that really nice and grippy sensation. Grip knit also, which this boot doesn't have ACC, and I actually got a good question the other day because people were like, well, the takedown model of this boot actually has ACC tech on it, and these don't. Well, the ACC doesn't need to be put on this boot because the grip knit is actually naturally water resistant anyway. Because of the kind of waxy sensation, it wicks water straight away. So you're actually not going to get wet at all from this pair of football boots, uh, whereas the takedown model does not have grip knit, and so you do need that extra bit of material or coating over the top to make it a little bit less, uh, I guess, water phobic, as you, as you might say. You... This, this one piece upper is genuinely incredible, in my opinion. The shape of the boot is very, very nice for wider foot shapes, especially here through the midfoot area. It's a little pointy in the toe box, but as I've said multiple times in videos about these boots and just the experience in playing in them, it doesn't really make that much of a difference because the upper breaks in so quickly. Um, that's one thing that I think they did such a nice job with this grip knit is it just kind of levels up what we got in the previous generation, which is really, really cool. The asymmetric lacing system is a pretty standard for Phantoms of the past. I've got a pair of Phantom Venoms here. Obviously the um, GX1, GX1, uh, here's the Phantom GT1. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Hyper Venom Phantom 3 down there, Hyper Venom Phantom 1. Phantom Ultra, like I've got a lot of Nike Phantoms because it's one of my favorite, it's probably my favorite boot dynasty or silo that's ever been created just because they fit my foot so well. The asymmetric lacing system is like one of the key markers of a Phantom series from the Nike brand. You had it all the way back on the T90s. You had those crazy T90s with the kind of lacing on one side and on the other, but it's always to create a better shot experience, crossing experience, striking ball experience in this medial side of the kind of the forefoot and the midfoot, which is really great. Does it add anything spectacular? Uh, no, not really, but it does add a little bit of a larger surface area, which means more grip knit, which means more spin or dip on the ball if that's your thing. Now, this in comparison to the Phantom Luna AG, which I will put here, is literally just the collar. So they are the exact same boot, except the Luna has the little bit of collar. This, of course, being a custom colorway that I put together with my uh, the year uh, 2024 on it and the gold accents and all that stuff. But the, the boots are literally the exact same. Like sole plates the same, materials are the same, uh, obviously different color, but that's really all that you get on the Phantom Luna, which is why I always tell people just go with the Phantom GX because you're probably going to save some money as well. You do get a an insole that's pretty decent actually. I haven't had any major issues with it. It is the kind of normal like quote unquote cushion insole from Nike with the Phantom GX logo on it. It's not really that cushiony. Now that I've tried some other insoles on the market, it's not super, super impressive. Um, I think it's nothing compared to the one in the Skechers boots, which I am going to completely forget the name of which is really frustrating. Oh, I actually have a pair right here. Um, they are the high, oh, the hyperburst. So this is, uh, I'm just using this as an example because I have them right here. So these are the two insoles. Obviously the color is actually quite complimentary, which is kind of strange. Um, the insoles on the hyperburst are 
10 times more plush and enjoyable than the ones on the Phantom GX. And they are quite, they feel a lot better quality in my opinion as well. But from an insole perspective, it's really not anything that you're going to miss out on from a, you know, the Nike perspective. It's very basic for Nike uh, insoles. And then you do have a really nice heel area that I know doesn't fit some people. It fits my foot perfectly. Um, because it's got a nice amount of padding that really gives you kind of that memory foam feeling to it, which is great. And then of course, um, sort of this interesting asymmetrical collar, which I don't feel at all. Like I can't feel the difference between if it was like this or if it didn't have this, these little tabs, this is probably just to help get your foot in. Um, and it just kind of looks interesting as well. But overall the Phantom GX2 Elite in this AG in this colorway is probably one of those boots that I will just look at for a really long time and then decide to wear at some point. Um, I just think these look sensational. The only other pair that I think even comes close to this are the pink pair that I really, really love. And then I also love this Holland edition with this kind of crazy chromatic sole plate. Um, th these are really cool and I really love the pink ones as well. The pink ones I probably like a little bit better than the Holland ones, and then these are at the top. I'm just a huge fan of solid colorways with a accent color. That's like, I'm a simple dude when it comes to colorways because I think that just, you, you get such an incredible juxtaposition between the logoing and the colorway, and even a boot like this that's got a little bit of a different shade across the boot, no problem at all but it's that simple, simple, simple single color with the white accents I just think looks insane. So let's get these on feet, tell you guys how the fit and feel is, which of course it's gonna be amazing because they're a GX2, and then talk about how this performs, which I just did a one month review, or I just filmed a one month review of the AG Luna 2s, the custom ones that I showed you guys a bit earlier. So you guys will get my full thoughts on those and I'll just kind of give it away because those will probably come out before this review. They're incredible. So these I reckon are going to be no different. So without further ado, let's hop into it. All right, I'm out here in the backyard with the absolutely stunning Phantom GX2 AG. Let's hop into it. These look so good in the sunlight. They are absolutely stunning. AG stud pattern, beautiful color. Not much else to say about these. I am wearing a pair of Wee Foot Grip Socks as well, so do go check out the link in the description box below. They hooked us up with 20% off. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Perfection. So, yeah, go uh, discount code below. Um, the GX2 fits my foot perfectly. Like, I don't think, the reason I'm going to stack up on these is because I genuinely don't think that Nike could create a better fitting out-of-the-box shoe unless they scanned my foot and literally made a foot, or made, made a foot, made a boot completely designed for my feet. These are nuts. These feel so good. Oh my god, every time I put on a pair of GX2s, I'm like, I think these might be... Other than Hypervenom 3, this might be like a close second, if not a first, as far as like how comfortable they are straight out of the box. These might be number one. I might have to uh, concede the number one spot from Hypervenom. Hypervenom is still my favorite boot of all time, but GX2 might just be the most comfortable and the best for my foot straight out of the box. They might, they might just be, because there is no gap, no gap, no gap, no weird like bowing of the material or anything. Maybe there's a little bit there. Maybe you can see, but like that's so small and they fit so well straight out of the box in this colorway too is just amazing. AG sole plate per my comments before in the unboxing portion of the video, these uh, fit really, really well. My foot feels really balanced on this sole plate. It feels, I feel very at home on this sole plate as well because I've worn it so much. And so even on a surface like this, that's like not a playing turf, but it is a, you know, it is a synthetic grass material. It actually still feels totally fine, totally balanced. And uh, yeah, definitely will not be wearing um, the this type of stud on this grass, but you get the idea anyway. Heel area is 
one of the best on the market in my opinion it's very neutral shaped there's no weird like areas higher or lower that have extra padding it's just one nice big pad kind of padding situation all the way around you get a nice perforated suede back there as well so as you're pushing off as you're doing any sort of like touch and pivot and go you're not going to get any rotational slippage in that heel either especially if you have a foot shape like me which is a little bit of a narrow heel area and then a wide toe box and wide midfoot yes the gx2 is a little bit pointy in the toe box area but not nearly as pointy as the gx1 so i'm gonna get i usually well i don't really have to break these in because they fit so well straight out of the box but i do i did have to break in the gx1s a little bit um, even if it was just like 35 minutes 40 minutes of play time just simply because of how pointy that toe box area and how sort of cramped the front of my toes felt but that's what they look like on feet i think with an all black kit these look absolutely sensational these are so good looking and the gx2 is like i'm sitting here you know having just put the boots on whatever five minutes ago for the first time and like they're perfectly fit to my foot and i i genuinely do not get why that's the case, but it is. So that's cool. They're one of my favorite boots on the market. They're absolutely my go-tos for any time I have, like if there's a session that I really want to show out to, or I, you know, have a game or whatever, like I wear everything pretty much for games. Like I've worn all sorts of stuff, but I always come back to the GX2 because it literally, it just fits that well. Um, and if it's a, it's a situation where I just don't even want to think about the boots that I want to wear, I'm going to pick up a pair of GX2s because I know they fit. I know they perform. I love the grip knit. It's amazing. Like, I really cannot speak highly enough about this boot. However, the big asterisk is if you have thinner feet or you have a little bit of an awkward shaped foot that's not kind of wider in the midfoot or wider in the toe box area, this shoe probably will feel super awkward and really bulky. Um, uh, not bulky. It will, it will look like you have a ton of extra material around the boot because it is a one piece upper. So the, the upper kind of has to fit to the shape of your foot. So sizing is of course really important. Now touch on the ball, especially with a match ball like this from Miter. Um, it, you know, you can definitely notice the stickiness of the grip knit, which is great. Um, that's something that t does take some getting used to at the very beginning. Like I remember when the GX1 first came out and I had that pre-production pair they really were, I was like, whoa, this is weird to get used to because they are so grippy. It's a little bit more manageable with the GX2. Um, so when you're playing the ball and you're passing and you're doing any sort of ball manipulation, no problem. And part of that is due to uh, this pattern here that we get from the Luna 1, which is this like kind of cyclone-esque pattern on the medial side of the midfoot and the forefoot, of course, and then on the lateral side, although you don't really feel the difference that much in this area, but a lot with kind of less surface area as the shoe is, or as the ball is hitting kind of these little ridges, you're not going to get as sticky of a sensation unless you really try to strike the ball, which is where these really shine. Like the hitting a passing, hitting long balls, passing with these, hitting a bended shot or a cross, or even just shooting in general with the Phantoms, it's an absolute joy. So for me, this is a shoe that's gonna best fit players who have a foot shape, kind of heel area, you can kind of fit in whatever heel area shape you have. And then I would say the, the GX2 is best suited for those players who have kind of a medium, medium width midfoot to wider midfoot midfoot shapes and then sort of medium toe area to wider toe areas if you do have a really narrow foot and you still love the grip knit and all that stuff well you're in luck because vapor 16 exists so vapor 16 is a much more uh it's not crazy more narrow than these are but they're they're a much more kind of uniform general shape compared to the gx2 uh, the gx2 obviously has a really unique shape with the off-center lacing system and it's kind of a different style of boot uh, it's much more suited to like uh i i don't want to say like striking the ball because the the vapor 16s feel amazing to strike the ball as well but it's much more of a I don't know it's like a lot more low profile whereas the vapor is much more like straight and streamlined and has a much more like neutral shape to it so that's kind of how i would differentiate the two but they have very similar technologies obviously this one doesn't have air zoom in it but at the same time air zoom is like 
kind of whatever. Like it's cool, it's fun to wear, but it, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Um, and as far as like underfoot feel on the ball, you're gonna get less feel with the Air Zoom than you will with a sole plate like this uh, on an AG or even the Cyclone 360 FG stud pattern. So just from a standpoint of which one you're looking for, that's kind of what I recommend. So that's going to wrap up today's video. Again, huge, huge shout out and thank you to Tokyo Football who sent these out to me. Um, number one, they're an AG pair and Tokyo Football knows that I absolutely love the AG models. Um, and this is like my favorite colorway ever. So this is super, super sick. So thank you to Tokyo Football. Go follow them on Instagram. Go check them out because they have some amazing stock of all the crazy stuff that you don't usually get from... Um, like the normal retailers in Europe, in the US, and even Australia. So definitely, definitely go check them out. And hope you guys enjoyed that video. Discount code for the We Foot Grip Socks. We Foot Grip Socks are in the description box below. And uh, like the video if you got value from it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.